Welcome back to Namaskar Bio Class Show. Today is special class for CBSE Class 7. And today we discuss the most important topic that is the nutrition in plants. Now we have in the day 3 syllabus that is the other mode of nutrition in plants. So this is also with a very important and very interesting information is there in our today class. This topic is very important for your board exam and also in science olympiad exam but before the start of this session at first all of the stu student welcome in our special session like Sion, Sindhila, Shatanik, Oniket, Shoresh, Gaurav, Rastif, Onubhav, Shoham, Shudipto, Dishari, Shomajit, Shomitri, Chamritti, Oindrila, Ankun, Devaru, Shomaditto, Shutanu, Srijita, Devalila, Nirupama, Ishan, Krishna, Shish, Haroshi, Shoresh, Roshmi, Promit, Devarhu, Shaktoshi, Shomujit and Koshani. All of the students have a special warm welcome to at this class in life. But all students are not in life because the life session if they if you interact with each other that time it is a very helpful to you. So all the students are requested that you please do life in that session and interact with me. Right? So now we are start a special topic. This is the other mode of nutrition. Plants will already know that they are autotrophic in nature because they can produce their food and they can perform the photosynthesis. But some plants, they cannot produce their own food so they are dependent on other plants for their food. That time they are called the parasitic plants. Some other plants, they require the more nitrogen. So they trap the insect and kill the insect. And they take the nitrogen from that plant, uh, from that insect. So this is called the insectivorous plant. This is the two important topic that is we discuss in our today session. Now, first of all is the parasitic plant. You can observe a green plants and yellow plants. These yellow plants are the parasitic plants because they cannot perform the photosynthesis. They have no chlorophyll. So how they get the food? They get the food from these green plants. So one plants depend on others, right? So some plants live on other plants from their nutrition. This is called the parasite and these plants are called parasitic plant. But the plants on which this parasitic plant survive, this is called the host. In here you can observe that these green plants are the host, right? In here, most common example is there of the parasitic plant. This is the green plant, their name, they have the specific name. That is not the yellow color plants. They have this name that is a cascuta. So cascuta is the common example for the parasitic plants. You got it? You feel it? Any problem? Any doubts? Okay, very good. Now we do discuss our second topic in our this session that is the insectivorous plant. Plant or insect uh, trap the insect. You can imagine this thing. Plant uh, we the animals we take other animals right as the food. But plant take the animals for their food. You cannot imagine this thing, but that is happening in our nature. But only some kind of plants. But why this type of plant are like this carnivorous type of plant? Carnivorous because they have to take the animals. But why that insect also with the animals? But why they are the carnivorous? Why they are behave like this? Because this insectivorous plant where they grow, that soil have no sufficient nitrogen. And, but these type of plants have more nitrogen requirement. So how they fulfill their nitrogen requirement? That time they trap the insect and kill the insect. After killing, they take the nitrogen from the insect body. That is the most common for the insectivorous plant. So insectivorous plant have a special type of modification. You can uh, feel it in this type of image. Some plants depend upon the insect for their food, so it is called the insectivorous. Now, 
the leaves of this plant you can imagine this thing these leaves are modified into the pitcher like structure and the top part of the leaf act as a lid which can open and close the pitcher pitcher like this thing is the pitcher when the insect are go inside that time the lid is closed so the insect are do not open out right this is happening after that this pitcher plant secretes some enzyme which is the digestive type of enzyme which destroy the insect body after that the nitrogen which is absorbed by the plant now the pitcher contain here in the downward direction which trap the insect the pitcher on capturing the insect secretes some digestive juice which helps the digestion of the insect like proteolytic enzyme like lipolytic enzyme is most commonly present in the digestive juice of the insectivorous plant most common two example one is the pitcher plant is the most common example another one is the dischendia and the nep nepenthes this is the most two common example of the insectivorous plant so you got it that insectivorous plant required the more nitrogen so they trap the insect and kill the insect for their fulfillment of the nitrogen the importance of the nitrogen so this is a two topic that we will discuss in our today session if any doubts or any questions or you and uh, if this uh, session is interesting or not please all of the student like shouresh or rishi and pramit ekishan all of the student please write down in the uh, comment section okay thank you thank you very much for attending this live session okay or uh, after this after the live session also some student also seeing this video that time you also welcome these students and thank you thank you very much and we see the best of luck